British scientists create offspring from non-egg cells. The University of Bath has produced a litter of mice bypassing the fertilization process. Catherine Zeltner spoke with a, a Catholic theologian about ethical concerns. Dr. Pia de Seleni is a professor of moral theology at the Augustine Institute. Pia, these scientists say the results challenge scientific wisdom that embryonic development requires an egg. What's your response? Well, actually, it's really more how the press has reported it. If you read their study, their study says that they actually did use a human egg for the procedure. It was a human egg that was um, chemically stimulated to begin dividing. And so it, it only produced half of its chrom half the chromosomes because in human reproduction, an egg cell contains half the chromosomes and a sperm cell contains half the chromosomes. All the other cells in the body contain all the chromosomes. So when these two, when the egg and the sperm unite, you have really two halves making a whole. And so in this case, they took an egg that had been chemically stimulated to begin fertilization. So the cells started to divide and then they injected a sperm cell and it didn't work in all of the cases. In some of the cases it did and they got some apparently healthy mice. It did not work in all of the cases, but it did require an egg. And what happened, Science Magazine has a wonderful article on this explaining how it all got manipulated. But if you actually look at the study itself, the study itself isn't even claiming to do eggless uh, embryos, shall we say. So could this pave the way to motherless babies and explain why that would be concerning? You know, all of these advances in, um, in assisted reproductive technologies are concerning because they remove parenthood from reproduction. And you know, John Paul II had a wonderful phrase that he used. He said that the child should be conceived as a result of love, as the expression of love. And we understand that in the, in, in the Catholic Church in a very tactile way, no pun intended, but through the marital embrace. And what's happening in a laboratory, whether you're using an egg or you found a way to circumvent the egg, is not the direct result of the, of the marital embrace. It's not the direct expression of love. That doesn't mean that the people that are doing it don't love um, and, and aren't motivated by love, but the result itself. And so when we talk about human creation, human procreation, it, there is something so inherent in the dignity of the human person that it deserves to be created as a result of love, the direct expression of love. Dr. Pia DiCelleni of the Augustine Institute, thank you for your insight on this. Happy to be with you. Thank you.